cuts toes on my hand. That's what that looks like. If you want to see my feet, that's my OnlyFans. Never for free. <laughs> Never for free. Someone hacked into my bank account and they spent £200 on Ancestry.com. Yeah, they know who they are, don't they? Hey, here we go. Now we're off. <laughs> you see, I'm... <laughs> it says someone actually died from eating too much licorice last year as well. Uh, yeah, people really do die of all sorts now, don't they? <laughs> Look, hey, I'm not usually like this. I, try, I, I do the easy stuff at the beginning because we've got some heavy <laughs> coming, OK? I'm just going to get straight into it. Um, I actually have a disability. That causes tension in the room, doesn't it? Because I've gone and said I've got a disability, but nobody can tell what it is. And now we're playing Guess the Disability. <laughs> but I won't leave you in limbo. Basically, I was born with one hand smaller than the other, and it looks like a monster munch, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> yeah. It's called Poland Syndrome, but I actually just call it Beadle's Mitten. <laughs> he had it as well. It's got nothing to do with Poland. But if you search the hashtag Poland Syndrome on Instagram, you'll just see pictures of stag dudes in Poland. <laughs> just people just going, totally catching Poland Syndrome here with the lads in Krakow. You're not catching it, Darren. <laughs> it's not contagious. It's a birth defect. It's a birth defect. It's actually caused by a lack of oxygen to the fetus when it's in the womb. Yeah, I, uh, I researched that, and that's an interesting way to find out your mum's into asphyxiation, isn't it? But there you go. <laughs> yeah. Let's not judge her. Whatever she's into, <laughs> hope it was worth it. Um, I mean, is it, is, it, is it even a disability? I, th I don't know. What I'd like to call myself is handicapped, if I'm honest with you. But I'm not, I'm, not allowed to, I'm not allowed to use that word anymore, unless I'm playing golf. Yeah? A sport, ironically, I have a terrible handicap in because of my f***ing handicap, isn't it? <laughs> and you might think it might have been quite hard uh, for someone with a visible disability like this at school, but I'm going to tell you something a bit different. When I started school at uh, four years old and everything, I realised that to other four-year-old lads, this is interesting as fuck. <laughs> they would come over and they'd be like, what happened to your hand? And I'd just get to say anything. I'd be like, it was a shark attack. <laughs> a dog bit my hand and just, we had to retrieve it and put it back. It was a whole thing. <laughs> One time I just said my dad did it to me. Just left it there. <laughs> Which in hindsight, if you think about how it happened, you must have done. <laughs> but I, I was, I, was having, I was having some more problems because my hand was more affected than this. I've had a lot of surgery on it. All the fingers at one point were webbed, which ironically meant I was less disabled because I had special abilities. Yeah? I could swim fast. <laughs> I could use it as a cup. If I still had it today, I could go into Pret and just be like, can I just get a double espresso in the hand? <laughs> But no, we got all that removed because I couldn't do things. I couldn't pick up cutlery. I couldn't open doors properly. And I was having trouble using it. And my parents were like, we're sending you to this guy in Leeds who fixes things for kids. <laughs> oh, come on now, he was a surgeon. He was a guy doing experimental work on children. And I was like, that sounds like a day out, let's go. I was 11 or something like that. And I remember going there and I stood there and they said, what we want to do is we want to amputate these two fingers that you can't use. And they wanna, we want to replace them with the second biggest toe on each foot. What? <laughs> Sorry, you want to put toes on my hand? You want to put parts on my foot where my fingers should be? I look at my parents and like, oh, we actually think this is a really good idea. <laughs> and I said to the doctor, is this, does this mean I'm going to have three feet now? And I shit you not, he said, that's up to you, Richard. So here we are, I did it. <laughs> there we are. That's toes on my hand. That's what that looks like. If you want to see my feet, that's my OnlyFans. Never for free. <laughs> Never for free. Yeah. But, you know, you've got questions, you know. Th this is the best thing about having toes on your hand, okay? Best three things, actually. All right. When I'm playing football, I can just pick it up and run around. <laughs> right, everybody sing this song with me. You'll know it. Heads, shoulders, <laughs> knees and toes, knees and toes. That is easier on the knees, isn't it? I'm getting to my 30s now, you know? <laughs> and every single girl I've ever slept with has been towed in the hole. <laughs> That's been me. Thank you very much. You've been gorgeous. Good night. <laughs>